Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Teacher Fajaluddin Ahmad here. A very good morning to all of you. Today we are going to start our revision session. The first session for uh, today would be from uh, chapter 7, lesson number 2, Water Cycle. This is from chapter 7, lesson number 2, Water Cycle. You can refer to your science reading book, Macmillan and McGraw-Hill. So we'll start our first session in revision today. There are a set of questions with multiple choices. You have many choices and you have to choose one right answer from the choices. Question number one, choose the correct answer. Number one, this is the condition that causes a liquid to change into a solid. This is the condition that causes a liquid to change into a solid. You have three options, freezing, evaporation, melting. So we know that answer is freezing. The liquid water, if you if you keep this liquid water into a freezer, then after some time you can see the liquid water becomes becoming solid. The state of a liquid is converting into a solid state, then this is called freezing. So this condition is freezing. Answer is A. Next. This is the ongoing movement of water through many different processes and states. This is the ongoing movement of water through many different processes and states. You have the options freezing, water cycle and melting. The answer is water cycle. You have many different processes uh, in this water cycle and it begins with evaporation when the water is heated up and later on when water evaporates in the form of gas, water vapor, it moves up into the atmosphere and condenses into uh, to form clouds. It condenses into water droplets. Then from the clouds, again, the water returns back to the ground. This process is called precipitation. So all these processes, they are together called water cycle. The answer is B, water cycle. Third, these are small drops of rain that freeze in the air before they hit the ground. These are small drops of rain that freeze in air before they hit the ground. The answers are, options are water vapor, water cycle, sleet. The answer is sleet. In this kind of precipitation, in this kind of precipitation, the water droplets, they freeze before falling onto the ground. The answer is sleet. Next, this is a process where a liquid becomes a gas. This is a process where a liquid becomes a gas. We have options hail, evaporation, sleet. So liquid becoming a gas, this condition is called as evaporation. A liquid becomes a gas during evaporation. Answer is B. Next, eventually the water in clouds fall back to earth as yes, the water from clouds, it falls back to the earth as precipitation. Water vapor, water cycle, or precipitation? The answer is precipitation. C. The answer is C. Next, these are ice crystals that form in clouds and fall to the ground. These are ice crystals that form in clouds and fall to the ground. The precipitation in the form of ice crystals is seen in snow. Yes. It, it is A. Answer is A. Snow. Evaporation and melting are different processes and snow is a process of precipitation. It's a kind of precipitation. Snow is the answer. Next. This is water that falls from clouds to earth. This is water that falls from clouds to earth. Options are water vapor, water cycle, precipitation. Again, the answer is precipitation. Precipitation is the process where water falls from clouds back onto the earth. C, uh, answer is C, precipitation. Next. This is the gas form of water. This is the gas form of water. Options are water vapor, evaporation, melting. The answer is A, water vapor. Water vapor is a gas form of water. When water is heated up, it, 
evaporates in the form of water vapor. So the gas form of water is evapor water vapor. Next, this is the process of a gas becoming a liquid. This is a process of a gas becoming a liquid. You have options snow, evaporation, condensation. The answer is condensation. Condensation is the process where gas becomes a liquid. A water vapor condenses to form water droplets in the and to form this condensation leads to formation of clouds. Next, this is the process of a solid becoming a liquid. This is the process of a solid becoming a liquid. Hail, melting, sleet. Melting. Answer is B. Melting. When you keep solid ice in an open place, then we see that ice starts melting into liquid. So the process of a solid becoming a liquid is melting. So these are the answers for the, all these questions. We have question number two. State true or false. You just have to mention whether the question is whether the sentence mentioned is true or false. Number one, water changes to a gas or evaporates from the surface of oceans, lakes, and other places. It's true. Yes, it's true. Water changes to a gas or evaporates from the surface of oceans, lakes, and other places. True. Answer is true. Next. Puffy white clouds are called stratus clouds. Puffy white clouds are called stratus clouds. No, they are called cumulus clouds, not stratus. So answer is false. Water vapor rises into the air and cools. Water vapor rises into the air and cools. Is it true? Yes, it is true. During the process of evaporation, the water, when it, when it gets heated up, it moves up into the atmosphere in the form of gas and later on when it uh, when it reaches in a higher altitude in a, then the, this gas condenses into liquid and it cools yes the answer is true N next low layered clouds are called cumulus clouds no low layered clouds are called layered clouds are stratus clouds not cumulus so answer is this is false this is false. Wispy clouds high in the sky are called cirrus clouds. Wispy clouds high in the sky are called cirrus clouds. Yes, the answer is true. Correct. This is the, this is the true sentence. This is true. So hope you understood today's topic. Hope you revised well with me. I would just want you to practice at home the same questions and uh, from the first 10 multiple choice questions and this true and false. Please practice at home all these uh, questions. I'll get back to you with the next session of revision. Until then, have a nice time. Thank you.